Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is an example 11 of how I plan a digital marketing strategy. Today, we're doing one for Laramie Serrano Photography, which is based out of San Antonio, Texas. Now, that's Laramie in the white dress, and the dude next to her is the goat in my mind, which is Shay Serrano. I've loved him since I found him in Grantland. Just everything I read and listen to, it's fantastic. So anyway, I started following him on social. That's and I I very quickly found out that you know Laramie is very talented as far as writing and photography, right? And so I follow her on Instagram and so forth. And same thing with Shay, <laughs> uh, just because he's he's hilarious. All right, so this is version the data that's 11 24 of 2018 of how i plan a digital marketing strategy first phase is research we get to know the person so i would look and this is unresearched right like all of the images that i'm going to show you are screenshots that i took i didn't in no way am i infringing on any uh copyright from laramie what i wanted to do was just show how i would approach her digital marketing and <clears throat> understanding that you know she's a one woman shop at the moment i would guess i don't i mean again on research i don't know so and i don't know what her goals are for it is it something she wants to grow into a multinational company is it something that she's just looking to do on the side um you know what exactly are her ambitions or aspirations for it but the understanding that I know nothing about that, <clears throat> let me walk you through kind of how I would approach it. And I put together a working demo. So when you go to jasonobsllc.com forward slash example dash one one, scroll down and you'll see a green button, big green button. Click that and you'll be able to go see a working demo. And all I really focused on was the home page and making sure that the pages, as far as the navigation linked to, were uh, populated, as well as anything the widget areas on this home page linked to, that those were populated. And so what I mean by that is I created a couple of products because I wanted to be able to show that, you know, I would have her up front, her uh, full session and mini session on the home page. So anyway, but we'll get back to that in a second. Just... The status quo snapshot, this was kind of how I looked at it. So does she have a website? Yes, she does. Is it mobile? No. Is it e-commerce? She. It's not, but she has WooCommerce, I believe, installed. This is just using built with. That Chrome, Google Chrome extension says that I think WooCommerce is still installed. So but anyway, it's not active and you can't buy anything yet. Email list, not that I could see. Social profiles, absolutely. Like I alluded to previously, that was how I found her was through her husband and his uh, social media, right? And obviously I don't know Laramie or Shay. <clears throat> I'm just a, a big fan of Shay's it's, and Laramie's at this point. I mean, and Younger Jeezy, the family pet. Big fan of Younger Jeezy. That's my dude. Mangul site report. I would definitely run that. I definitely run a GT metric speed report. I'd also, and you know, again, the point of the research phase, whether it's a uh, spread out over a month, whether it's spread out over you know a day and a half or a day and a quarter over a seven day sprint, regardless, you're still putting together a matrix of the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats for this brand. So here's her current one. It's basically set up as a blog. I believe it's WordPress. Um, it, it loads good, 1.8 seconds, good stuff. Wherever she's hosting it, what a, good stuff. The goal in my mind would be brand growth and e-commerce experience. And there's two main ways that that plays out. And I'll get, we'll get to that as we go. Customer point of view though, is photography clients within 60 miles of San Antonio, Texas. That's a random number. I have, she knows her business way much better than me. It's a friction-free photography experience because it's gonna be a mobile responsive. It's going to be where you can go and pay and view your account, et cetera, from her website. Whereas currently it's just, it's basically set up as a blog. And there's some information, and I use this, that information just basically copy and pasted 
it into the demo that I just showed and that you can go and see. Go to jasonobsllc.com forward slash example dash 11 and scroll down. You're going to see a green button in the middle of the page and click it and that'll take you to the working demo. All right. Access would be <laughs> that uh, website, right? So her her normal hours of operation and just having the website be able to do carry more of the, the non-creative workload for Laramie Serrano photography. So the value is they just put less effort into professionally documenting their great loves as well as their life. Does that maybe, I had a lot of trouble figuring out the wording for that, but it, it really does boil down to, we love nostalgia. We always put the past on a pedestal. Anytime that you're talking about a photo, or a video or whatever, you're talking about the past, right? And so understanding that, I think that she has just loads of opportunity available depending on where and how she wants to take her brand moving forward. So, and the idea behind, you know, making it where it's mobile responsive. So you go to your website, her website on your smartphone and you can, it's great. And if you want on your desktop or laptop or tablet, it's always a great experience. The education, I just used exactly what she, this is from her current website. Um, I'm glad you're here. I hope you stay a while. I'd love to meet you. I thought that, you know, she, like I said, she has a voice, a very, very pleasant voice. So the media plan, I see it as she should be a media company. And I don't think that she is a hundred percent there yet because she's not creating video. And in my mind, for her, like she's, you know, gonna be she's photogenic and you know, telegenic as well. So I just I really think that and she may very well see herself because she writes and she photo and you know, she runs the business, she does the sales part, she put together the process and you know. It's pretty impressive. So I don't know. Maybe she does see herself as a media company. Maybe she doesn't. If she happens to watch this, then I would highly recommend that add video yesterday. Start doing it. Just start doing video, period. You're And you're going to be super happy that you did. Media strategy. I need more Laramie. Audience POV is San Antonio area people, but she's going to build an audience, period. Like, it just it doesn't matter. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be very quickly, I believe, based on talent, it's going to become geography agnostic. Mark my words, especially if she puts it out there and makes it a an easy process for people to consume her stuff, but at the same time buy from her. So the show format, I make it conversational and just approach it as it's always going to be Laramie, the camera, and people. Right. And so understanding that however she wanted to edit it is always going to be a conversational thing between her and other people. And there's so many different people that she could interview and talk to. And she has a, a good and you can see that with some of the blog posts that she's done as well. Like it just her walking around and you know, inter dating. I think she called it dating San Antonio. That's really good. Like do a video version. That's the only thing that I like, please do a video version, carry a camera in, set it down, make the other person feel pretty. You feel pretty while you're there and you're golden. I mean, it's just like if they're going to take a picture, it's the same thing, but you're just recording it and you can take screenshots or stills, you know, as well as do, you know, some shooting, etc. I just video, please Larry. All right, so the show schedule, weekly, monthly, whatever she wants, but I would set a consistency of at least weekly to begin with. And then as she starts adding to her team, depending on what she wanted to do, then it would you know go up from there as far as there would be more episodes on the schedule. All right, so the ad budget, I've started at least a hundred bucks a week. I think you can get some really good traction going just a hundred bucks a week, as long as you know who you're targeting and you know the message that you're giving to them, you know, that they're, you're putting in front of them, whatever it is, that it makes sense to them and to your business goals. So media creation, consistency is key. So my process. And so when I put together one of these plans, one of the main questions that we answer is the process. So it's slide deck, 
but over, I put together a slide deck. I use that to create a video using Soapbox by Wistia with my um, desktop. And then I go into iMovie because I have the pro version of Soapbox by Wistia. I'm able to download an MP4 file, which I am then able to load that file that I downloaded into iMovie and do editing. Right. So I can add in some screenshots of stuff to kind of explain or not to explain, but to well, to better explain, because it's putting a visual with what I'm talking about over and above the actual slide deck. Now, the point of your process is a deliverable. Right. So that's a full length video. That'll be. But then from there, you have the primary thing. Let's say that Laramie Serrano photography, she her video one was she put together her origin story in which spoke to her future aspirations kind of let people know hey this is where i came from this is where i'm looking to go if you want to go along with me so to speak right that is once that video is finished whatever amount of time it takes as far as well whatever amount of times it takes to create it as well as whatever however long the actual video ends up being then you have that video from there, you'll extract the audio version and you'll upload that to Anchor. You'll also pull out, let's say, um, maybe you do a one minute version that's vertical and use that for Instagram, or maybe you do a specific one for YouTube pre-roll ads. But the point is you have that as part of my plan. That's what I always, you know, what we put together is we list the deliverables. So, and every deliverable has a job. Media distribution. For video, I put it in Wistia when I embed it on my website. I put them on YouTube for your YouTube channel. You definitely want to upload it there. Facebook for your brand page, definitely would want to upload it there. Audio version, I'd put into anchor.fm. The written and images version goes to the blog on your website, right? The digital foundation, I'd start with Essence Pro and focus on the home page, which is made up of widget areas. And so that's what I've done here. This is an example, or this is screenshots of the example I put together. And here is the, the middle section, which is focused on selling her product, right? So let me introduce myself. Let me let you buy something, basically, right? And then also right below that, this is the, the next section down, that's the bottom of the website, right? Which has the rest of, you know, testimonials and shop and my account if they want to. They can also log in or register and log in uh, and see their account right there. So on that home page as well. So this is a product that I set up. This is the full version or full session and it's 125 bucks down and 250 after now there is some and i just threw this together and it's all completely possible within woocommerce but it's 275 for newborn sessions and so forth so you can accommodate that is my point and i i didn't really mess with it but you can see that that top featured image that's the featured product image that's the pro what they call the product image actually and then below that those are all additional images that have been added to that product gallery so which really you know for a photographer i mean it just makes sense right she's very visual <laughs> and people are going to they come to her because they love the visuals right all right. Oh, and here's the cart. This is just, I threw this together. And then this is where the, you know, proceed to checkout is. And then you go to the checkout page, etc. All right. So customer conversation, two ears and one mouth is what has always served me best. So the idea would be to set up the website to where it not only sold for Laramie Serrano photography, but more importantly, it listened to Laramie Serrano's fans customers, interested parties, brands that wanted to, you know, consider her an influencer in the future and want to pay her to do whatever, it, it allows her to listen to all of them. And part of that is by, you know, speaking what they want to hear when they want to hear it.
right? So it's it's relevant information. At the top of the homepage is an introduction. The, the next thing is, hey, here's what you can buy from me, just so that they have some idea, right? Hey, it's 375 or two. And, and those prices, I don't know for sure by any stretch of the imagination, that's completely unresearched. So don't, you know, no one try and hold her to it. But I did want to, I just wanted to show, you know, how it can be. And so I would have live chat if I was her, I would have a, a I would pay somebody a virtual assistant. When she hires a virtual assistant, I would roll out live chat at that point. And otherwise, you're, you know, definitely live chat when it's possible and just be clear with the hours and people will appreciate that. Specifically, you can put it for people that are only logged into that website. So they come and log in. Now they see, hey, there's a live chat option. Until then, you know, they don't see it. So, and which is probably how you'd want to set it up. The email, that's part of drift.com. They do the live chat as well, 50 bucks a month. And that's two live chat operators plus the email. And what we're doing is it's a two-way conversation, but we want to be able through using the customer intimacy marketing strategy, we want to get to know these people over time is the goal. Laramie Serrano Photography, when they make people happy, we want to make it make that suddenly make their job quote unquote a little easier ideally right because laramie made these people just raving fans because she shot their wedding and you know they got their stuff on time and it was amazingly professional and you know they they were you know, giggling you know what i mean like just if they're so happy she that is the foundation upon which businesses are built right so what we want to do is we want to make sure that Laramie is able to benefit from that. And what we part of that is we set up a conversation, we track everything on a customer timeline for every person that decides to be a customer of Laramie Serrano Photography, and we put it all on a timeline within Drift. And it allows us to talk to them. And it, it, there's there's a lot of stuff that you can do. So in part of that is in person, you can actually log those events you know, on the phone or text message, understand, and that they're all gonna change. Like these are the ways that, that brands communicate with customers these days, but it's going to change. You know, that's just the reality of it. All right, so the campaigns, when I explain marketing to people, I explain it as you have to get and keep attention. And getting is the easy part, keeping is the hard part. Well, you get attention, everywhere but your website all the social media all the different other blogs or if there's on a, a directory or whatever doesn't matter everywhere else is where you get attention you keep attention on your website on your domain so laramie serrano photography.com or photo or whatever it is all right and then you also have some what i like to call administrative campaigns that are specific to foundational stuff like just you know fixing like technical seo here and there it's not going to be an all the time thing and understand i'm going to explain one example of each right just kind of address one example of each just to give you an idea but i mean depending on the business there's loads of these going on and ending and you know being processed and learned from so that for iteration in the future it, it's just all of the, there's so much going on. So don't assume that it's just the singular. All right, so they get attention. I like the origin story to start with. I have that video telling the origin story and introducing Laramie, you know, just introduce her. This is her, this is her personality. This is how she is. This is, just make younger Jeezy part of it, you know, make him, because I just love more, <laughs> more content from younger Jeezy, you know, he really needs to put out more content. The origin story, I'd start with a video telling Laramie's origin story, telling where she wants to go in the future and allowing people to put a face with the name and, and decide, do they like her or not? And be 100%, lean 100% into being exactly who you are. Don't try and be anybody else you know, because that's going to repel some people and attract others. And that's how you want it to be. You're never going to be, no brand is ever going to be everything to everyone, but they can be everything to someone. All right. So keeping attention, an example would be a remarketing campaign. So we have that video that we put together. The first one 
you know, week one, we release that, and then we release the next week, we so forth. Well, we start a remarketing campaign at some point, maybe week two or what, at three or whatever. And we're saying, okay, these people viewed the video. Now we're going to send them, we're going to target them with an ad with a specific call to action to book an appointment. An example of an administrative campaign is the local citations. So she does her stuff in San Antonio, right? As far as her sessions. And part of what she explains to people is when we book the appointment, we'll talk about you know, your favorite places in the city, et cetera, et cetera. And that's part of why she likes to go and get to know uh, the area is my understanding. So understanding that she may very well want to be very clear about her name, address, and phone number wherever it shows up for Laramie Serrano photography, wherever it shows up so that when people are in San Antonio and they're looking for a photographer, they'll see her at the top of the search results. But then again, again, on research with kind of my gut instinct is she doesn't ever want to worry about that. Like, I think that she's going to offer an experience to people that for 375 bucks, they're going to walk away with a memory. They're going to walk away with stories from their one hour with her. And they're also going to walk away with 30 to 40 images. And they're going to end up wanting to do it again to mark the next big event in their life or, you know, stay, you know what I mean? Like, so local citations probably is irrelevant, but it does at least illustrate it for him. All right. So example 11, we put it in the books. It probably took me like 40 minutes of blathering. But how much would it cost you to do it yourself? These are some of the example expenses that are included in what I was doing. The five bucks a profile for Bright Local, I don't think they're all five bucks. Some of them are two bucks a profile. Okay, so 39 bucks a month of managed WooCommerce hosting from Liquid Web. That includes an abandoned shopping cart solution, which is Jilt, and that's included with that. And Drift.com, that's two live chat operators and an email. 100 bucks a month. Wistia, that's for the video hosting, and I would have her doing video yesterday. $40 a month for Gather Up, that's the gatherup.com that's the customer feedback loop what that does is when people buy a session and have a session she puts their email address in to gather up it and she's already set up the emails and all so it emails them and says hey will you rate one to ten here's a ten one to ten scale will you rate your experience they click on you know wherever one through ten and depending if they click one through eight it puts them into a a sequence that's basically a customer service queue in my mind. But more importantly with Laramie, I'm sure it's going to be more nines and tens anyway, right? And so with those, it'll automatically thank them and give them shortcuts to go and do a public testimonial wherever it's most important to her. So her Facebook brand page, if Yelp is important, if whatever. So the Yoast.com, she would definitely want that for the SEO for WordPress. She may already be using it, actually, I think. And then I get the soapbox. But she may not need it, but I think she could definitely crush with it because if she wants to talk people like the way that I see it. Okay, so 300 bucks a year for Wistia.com slash soapbox. It's a Google Chrome extension that enables anyone to record, edit, share, and measure presentation videos. It's what I'm using to record this. Obviously, um, Laramie would be doing things differently, but understand, think about where her blog is currently. And if you go and just scan it, you'll see that she's basically doing these conversations with a local business person and or with you know the, the bride and groom. It would just make total sense that instead of a slide share, it's a it's a gallery basically of images that she's walking them through and kind of telling stories as she goes along. That would make total sense to me. And you know, to get that set up, I mean it's child's play. 130 bucks to studiopress.com. That's for that Essence Pro Genesis Challenge theme that I'm using in the demo. And Enviro Gallery for her, she definitely would want that. It's going to be the $99 version she's going to want for her one website. 
And there's a bunch of additional extensions that she'll probably be interested as well. Uh, Bright Local, if she's going to do any local citations or whatever. So the 12th, I have no earthly idea. I guess you'll have to catch up on Monday, see what I decided, because I really am just clueless at this point. 